What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. So in the last episode, we had this massive battle for All Mother where the uh, Shadow Karja came up here and just tried to basically kill everyone. Um, we fought through it. It was a pretty tough fight. Died a few times, of course. Lost a lot of people, it looks like. But, uh, held them off. And now we've got to go inside All Mother. And I think we're going to try to see, or Aloy wants to see what created her. There's a door locked in here that early on in the uh, Let's Play, we couldn't get through it. I think we can now, so let's try it and see what happens. Very curious to see if this is going to... Oh, you've returned. Yes. To see if this is going to give us any information at all. So let's find out. Aloy, you've come back. The Seeker has returned. Come, speak to us. This one in the middle. Foolish woman. Yeah. You welcome a curse. Um, Come, Seeker, we have much to discuss. I'm sorry, the one right there on the... Her very presence here is talking. a blasphemy. On the right is a jerk, as you can hear. So, you have finally returned. She not only returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? By the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um... Yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. She has some rough-looking teeth. She's come to wake her father, the Metal Devil. She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. Let go of your fear, Lansra. Lansra, it's over. It's time to step aside. I'm not gonna hurt you. If there's anything I've learned since the proving, it's that there are bigger evils in this world than you. Ooh. <sighs> Finally. Hold for identity scan. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Correction. Alpha registry restored. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sova. You are clear to proceed. Now that she's going to find uh, what I assume is probably going to be those pods. But we'll see. It might be something completely different. Who knows? It's going to be interesting, that's for sure. Oh. Door shuts behind her. Fascinating. So yes, it's a cradle. We... I see you're inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? Yes. I never stopped. Alright, so we're going to have to really look around, pay a lot of attention to what is around here because I want to... I want to take it all in, you know. So let's make sure we explore thoroughly. And uh, listen and read everything, even though... I know some of you don't like that. I will try to do it as best as I can. Now we've got something down here in the floor. What is this? Stranded figure. I'm not sure what that is. Obtained one stranded figure. What is a stranded figure? Is it a, it's not a resource, I wouldn't think. Is this it? Yeah. A battered idol of an infant smelling faintly of decay. I can't actually look at it, which kind of sucks. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but... So this is Aluthia. This... 
is where I was born. Where you were made. Okay, here we go. So these are artificial wombs. The mothers of a new generation hundreds of years ago. And me. So let's see what this says here. So this was it. Where you were born. The text log. And it doesn't really tell me anything, just says complete standing by. Okay. But, but why? Another one? Still doesn't really say anything. Maybe the power has to be turned on or something? Hmm. Let's find out. Let's go over here to the left. See what we can see. There's something down here as well. Another day has passed. You mean the lights got dim? I don't want to sleep, Mother. I know, but it is time to get some rest. No, hmm. I'm king today. What I say goes. I want to see the real sun, not lights and pictures. You will in time, children. In time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time. Whoa. So that's interesting. They actually had, um... And that's like a robot down there, I guess. Yeah, it's like a robot person that was teaching the real kids. Fascinating. Hmm, what is this? Everything's shut down. was the nursery these look like cribs the cradles of a cradle facility and those things the, the multi servitors they took care of them there was no one else I was just absolutely look at this they got like a little play area in here hmm We miss a thing somewhere because I don't know. Maybe it's around the corner. Let's see what this one is. Someday, that's what you always say. We want it now. It's big down there. Now, father. Children, that area is not yet available. Get him. Physical aggression detected. Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels. Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer. Lena, you have suffered while bruising. Go away! Hmm. So now they're fighting with each other. It's not good. Blue is the color of the sky. White is the color of clouds. Yellow is the color of the sun. Green is the color of grass. Flowers can be any color. Take a look. A These mess. are yellow and black, and they love okay. flowers. Here they come. <laughs> Children, let's run and jump and blow off steam. Leave us alone, Father. After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke community rules. Just let us talk, then. Go away. I'm sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person. You sound frustrated. Let's run and jump and go off steam. That would get annoying after a while and, and very aggravating. The crazy thing is, is like, you would think that humans would have realized that that was going to happen, that... A machine or a robot couldn't take care of people. Like actual kids. Especially when they start thinking for themselves. I really want to see what those say, but I don't know how to... How to read them. I have no choice but to release you. But why? There is no food here anymore. But there's food... Out there? We don't know for sure. Come on! Let's go! I don't know. Mother, can we come back? 
if we're cold? I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. You will have to support yourselves now, and take care of each other. What will happen to you? I will stay here, and sleep, and remember all of you. What will happen to us? You will be brave, and you will learn. They were trapped here. Their whole lives. In plain view of luxurious space. What, what went wrong? Why couldn't they access the other areas? Unknown. But you won't have that problem. Hmm, so they were trapped in the nursery their whole life. They didn't actually... They weren't able to get out into the rest of the... The cradle. Or the rest of the area. Looks like they didn't like this door very much. Hmm, I can open for them. Genetic identity confirmed. Of course they hate it. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Welcome to the Lyceum, a place of learning. So, what was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. But why not? So this is where all the information was stored, and then they had like little desks here that they could. Hello, learn. child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. They never even went to school There's at all. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Oh man. Apollo offline. You were right, Aloy. This is a graveyard, the charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it, but it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. I will. Hello, child. My Again, name is Samina. same thing. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Yeah, same thing. So I guess they all do the same thing. Hello, yeah. child. My name is Samina. Just to make sure. Today is a big day. Your There's first probably day more school. down there, which I may go through. There's just so to make much sure. for you to learn. Um, so much promise. Wanna, yeah, I definitely want to go down here and look around. Hello, I guess they're all gonna say the same thing. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today, hello, child. Just curious. If there's like one My that says something is different. Today is a big day. Your first there. day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Doesn't look like we can get down there either. Okay, so I guess we'll go back upstairs here. Hmm. Huh. What is this? Oh, this is Gaia. Elizabeth. This message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. What? Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. 
With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Uh, does she mean the derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities. And over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it. That hold all of them. In place. It... They... are escaping. But to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. What if... Oh! The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the master override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. That's crazy. Wow. I'm not even sure what to make of it all. I mean, I so, you're even more extraordinary than I thought. She is basically Elizabeth what are you Sobet. About? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. Born in destruction. And fire. But born to save to the world. To the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. He's got a point, you know. I mean, it, it, there's been times where I've kind of questioned his actions, but he's definitely got a point. So I guess this is just... I don't, I'm not really sure what that is. I missed one up there somewhere. Dang it. I think that's one that I missed a long time ago. In, in somewhere. Who knows where. I thought I'd seen another one over here somewhere. Hmm, perhaps not. Identity scan has function rectified. The Luffy and I through one upstairs sunset. I still want to know though, why um why did the kids why were they not able to get out? Was it Hades that Trap them inside where they couldn't they couldn't leave. Oh jeez, that was a bit of a fall there. It must have been because I don't understand any other way that that could have happened. All right, where can we go? Where's the ladder? It's over on the other side, of course. Come on now. Come on, jump over. I think we're meant to go in this one, maybe? 
Or is this the one we just came from? No, this is it. This is going to be interesting. Okay, we just come to the door that we just walked out of. Back to our people, I guess. Yep. Now they're sitting there waiting on me. Oh, come on. She's not a god. Aloy, forgive. Forgive. The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. What did she say? That uh, I, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy? How? I, I don't know yet. Um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? Of course. It was her wish. What she made me for. Yes, I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. All praise Aloy. Oh Lord, here we go. All praise Aloy. Anointed of the Nora. Up. All praise Aloy. Anointed of the Nora. First you shun me, now this. I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders. Whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here. Everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way for Aloy, way. that she may forge the path for others to follow. So I guess we're going to Meridian now. Listen, stop, there's no need in all that. What are you gonna say? Anointed. I misread the signs. Forgive! I told you, Lanzra, I'm not your anointed. The anointed will make the murderers pay for what they have done to the Nora. In all my years, I have never Where's the seen other... anything like that. No one had ever entered the mountain. Hey, there we go. How kind we'll see what they have to spend say. a moment with me before you depart. No, I just wanted to see if he's going to say anything. There can be no doubt now. You are a blessing made flesh. The will of the goddess incarnate. It's really not that simple, Tirsa. But I guess it's close enough. I know the path ahead will be dangerous. To kill a metal devil sounds impossible, but I believe in you. Uh, thank you. So, what about the Nora? The Nora have suffered terrible losses, Tirsa. What's to become of them now? That will be for the goddess to decide. Only she knows the well, future. She doesn't, though, really. But For the moment, my sister Matriarchs and I will see to the wounded. And as I promised, anyone who wishes to join you at Meridian, we will declare seekers. I think for the time being, we should remain here in the mountain, close to the goddess. Um, that might be best. If nothing else, it's a defensible position. Rost. Tirsa, I want to know Rost's story. Why he was made an outcast. He broke into Allmother, I bet. He never told me. Said he took an oath of silence. What did he do? Oh... Yes, that. What crime did he commit? I will tell you if you wish. But it is a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it now? 
Hmm. I think I do. Of course I want to hear it. Tell me. Rost never committed any crime. He was an outcast by choice. What? What do you mean? Many years ago, before the derangement, before the Red Raids, a band of murderous outlanders, twelve in number, struck without warning. At Mother's Vigil, they took hostages, and then pressed on, headed for Devil's Thirst. Mother's Vigil? Where's that? You would know it as the Forsaken Village, near the Karja border. But at the time, many families lived there. Ross was one of them. His mate was killed fighting the Outlanders, and his daughter was among those taken hostage. His daughter? Was it Ursa? What, what was her name? Alana. No. She was just six years old. Hmm. I don't think I've met her. Did the Nora go after the Outlanders? Nora Braves couldn't stop 12 Outlanders? Or rescue the hostages? It was quite impossible. We outnumbered them, but every time a Brave came within bowshot, the Outlanders killed a hostage. What did they come here to do? That was never discovered. We couldn't track closely enough to observe them. We know they camped beyond Devil's Thirst for two days. There were reports of... strange noises. And then, as suddenly as they came, the Outlanders made their way back to the border and disappeared. So what about Ross's daughter? What happened to Ross's daughter? She was... killed? Rost was one of the Braves who tracked the Outlanders, keeping his distance. There were six hostages still alive when they reached the border, Alana among them. Rather than release them, the Outlanders slit their throats and left the corpses just across the border, mocking us. Why? Cruelty. They knew the faithful Nora would not leave the sacred land to collect the bodies, let alone pursue them. They thought themselves safe from our vengeance. What did Rost do? Are you saying that Rost went after them? That he became an exile? No. Rost was beside himself with grief, but even so, he would never have broken taboo. Then what did he do? He called upon the most terrible and secret rite of the Nora tribe. He begged to be made a Death Seeker. What is a Death Seeker? A Death Seeker? What is that? One who dies to go seeking. And in seeking, brings death to others. The ritual drags the spirit from one's body, releasing it to all mother's care. The heart beats, the mind thinks, but the spirit has moved on. I, I don't understand. Rost went after the Outlanders, but his spirit never left. It remained here with All Mother. He gathered the bodies of the slain and returned them. And then he set out in pursuit, not as an exile, but a weapon of vengeance. A barbed arrow shot from a bow, never to return. But Ross came back. But Ross did return. Yes. A full year later. And terribly wounded. He collapsed at the border of the sacred land. A hunting party came upon him. He was delirious. In agony. By law. He should have died where he lay. But one of the hunters broke taboo, and reaching across the border, she dragged him to our side. Who was she? A brave who'd lost a mate and two sons to the very outlanders that Rost pursued. So Rost failed his mission. So Rost never finished his mission. To the contrary, he killed all twelve. Tracked them to disparate places the world over, he said. Meridian, Ban-Ur, 
the claim, Utaru land, further even into the Forbidden West. The last he killed nearly got the best of him. Wounded, he stumbled and crawled back to us, hoping to die as close to the sacred land as he could. He never expected nor asked to be dragged across the border and nursed back to health. That was done to him. Leaving us, the matriarchs, in a difficult position. So why was he made an outcast? Why couldn't you just welcome him back? Rost had been made a death seeker, Aloy. He no longer had any place among the tribe. By law, he should have been driven back out. But we couldn't bring ourselves to do that, so we offered a compromise. You made him an outcast? Yes. We offered to do so, on the condition he never speak to anyone of this exception. After all he did, all he suffered, to be declared an outcast was his reward. Rost was overjoyed. He never expected to live another day in the sacred land, let alone the embrace so close to the goddess. He resolved to spend the rest of his days in solitude, and was happy to do so. Until you gave me to him. But then you found me, and gave me to him. Yes. Another compromise. The matriarchs feared you, and would not let you be raised by the tribe. And so we turned to Rost. I knew that he would take care of you, bring you up, teach you to worship all mother and respect the ways of the tribe. He certainly tried anyway. You took a man who'd lost his daughter and made him raise an infant girl? Doesn't that strike you as callous? I'm inclined to think the course of events has shown the wisdom of our choice. And I'm quite certain that from the moment he laid eyes on you, he saw you as a gift and never a burden. All right, dear Sadets. That's quite a story. Goodbye. It's time for me to move on. I thank you for doing what you could to help me through the years and for telling me Rost's story. I wish I could have done more, but I am just one woman. As am I. No need to sell ourselves short. Oh, thank you, Aloy. I will pray for you. Okay, I guess it can't hurt. She came out of the mountain and she was changed. Anointed. Well, that was interesting to know why, uh. The anointed will cleanse the corruption beyond the sacred land. Why Rost was She's earned my sort of kicked out and sort of just to chose it himself, I guess. But I guess She's now the of the goddess. we'll be probably heading towards Meridian. But at the same time, uh, I believe we'll do some side missions as well. Maybe stop by a hunting club. And uh try to get some more full suns on one of those. Alright, so I decided to come up here to Valley Mead Hunting Grounds to see what type of uh, hunting quest they have up here. I don't think I'll have time to finish. Yet. Is there more I can learn from the cauldrons? Yeah, I need to go to that last cauldron. I don't think I'll have time to finish it yet, but I would like to at least see what there is to offer before the end of this episode. So let's uh, just head up here and just see kind of what what's going on here. Should be just right up here somewhere. Oh, somebody sees me. Fellow back. I don't think I have to worry about him, though. Okay, we're good. Everybody pretty much leaving us alone. Where is this? Is it gonna be up here? I guess it probably is. Yep, here it is up here. 
we'll just save our hit to fire. Let's see, uh... This is probably gonna be kind of a, a low level one as well, I think. So let's talk to this They're guy. Where's he at? Here he is. You, you can stay away. I have no quarrel with the Nora. And I have no quarrel with you. What is this place? These are hunting grounds, and I'm the keeper. I offer the element trials for those who want to join the Hunter's Lodge. Now you know, so you can be on your way. Wait, what if I want to have a go at one of these trials? <sighs> then I have to give them to you. Well, let's do it then. I want to know more about you. You're not very friendly, are you? Oh, and the Nora R? Don't you usually kill trespassers and outlanders? <laughs> Is that what you're afraid of? Look, I didn't choose this assignment. They told me it was an honor, then stuck me right near your sacred lands. So, I'm keeping to what I know, herds and trials, and hoping I won't get murdered by Nora, angry about the Red Raids. Just to be clear, I have no plans to murder you, all right? Fine, but I'm watching you. Go ahead, I don't care. About the trials. What are the trials? These trials test a hunter's skill with different ammunition types when taking down machines. If you can't master mine in time, maybe you should try one of the easier hunting grounds out in the world. How many hunting grounds are there? Five in total. I'm sure one of the others would welcome you. You're a jerk. So, what's the Hunter's Lodge? What's the Hunter's Lodge? Of course, I already know. What but... it sounds like. A place where hunters get together, share war stories, and hunt dangerous machines. Sounds easy enough. Easy? What do you know, girl? I know that for someone who doesn't want to fight Anora, you're treading awfully close. Fine. You already won the three half-sons you need to enter the lodge in Meridian. Go see for yourself how easy it is to get along there. Well, let's start a trial, Pick then. Pick a trial and be done with it. I'll tell you how it works. Alright, so the firefight trial. For this trial, shoot the containers on Strider's backs with fire arrows. If you hit them right, you'll get quite a blast. Okay. Good luck with that. Slide down a rope and we can get started. Let's go ahead and fill up on our fire arrows. And I uh, think that we're ready to go. So where's the closest one? What do we have to do? We have to shoot strider canisters using fire arrows. It does not give us a time limit, but shouldn't take too awful long, I don't think. Okay, we got to damage. We just have to damage four machines, so... Two. I think I missed them. Oh, I got it. Okay, sweet. That was fast. I done it in like record time there, I think. I think they just that, that first one finished it, I believe. I don't want to get hit by the fire. Give me my full sun. I'll save first. Don't want to die and lose that. Now that you have this blazing sun, I think it's time for you to move on. Nah. I think I'll go for something else. What about the freeze trial? If you can freeze enough machines and take them down, I'll consider it a pass. I'll accept. Wonderful. Now go down a rope and I'll time you. Alright, let's find... We have my freeze thing here, so... Let's get it done. Run away from this guy. Strider's going down here. Ah, oh, come on, don't do that. running away and I can't find them. Oh, there's a bunch over there. Something's coming up 
on me. That was kind of funny because that one, uh, that one never even counted down. It just stayed at a minute 30 the whole time. So I kind of won that one by default, actually. But that's fine, I'll take it. I don't know if I'd have won it or not. I think it was probably a little more than a minute 30, but... I'm okay with that. When a blazing sun on your first try. Second, actually, that's but that's okay. Admirable. Thank you. Now, last one, shock trial. In this trial. You'll need to stun bellow backs with shock ammo and shoot off the components in their undercarriages. Get going. Okay, that might not be too, too bad. I'll accept that trial. Slide down a rope so I can start timing. I don't know. Do I have a way to shock them, though? Yeah, I've got these things. So we shock them and then shoot something off their underbelly. Where's these bellow backs at? Are they all on that side? It appears they may be. I only see one down here. Nice. That was easy. Very easy. I don't know why it didn't let me do that the first time. I guess maybe they have to be actually being shocked while I'm shooting them. Either way, it's done now. Well, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. I'm going to turn this in real fast. See what you this jerk has to say. Sun. Thank you very much. We're done with this one. Does this mean you'll be on your way? Yes, yes, we're done. Farewell. I'm done with you. Ooh, do we have more questions? Nope. Farewell. I'll take my leave you can always come back but please don't <laughs> all right no problem i won't ever thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed that episode if you did please leave a like and i will see you guys in the next one have a good one bye bye